I hope you've all had a great start to the new year. I am really excited to make more videos in 2022 and that you will be there to watch and enjoy them. Now let's talk about the Atomos Ninja 5. I often use my G9 connected to the Atomos Ninja 5. In fact, I'm recording on it right now. The Ninja 5, in my opinion, is an awesome tool for monitoring what you're filming and to record in the ProRes codec, which is much easier for my computer to handle. But one thing that's been annoying me, but one thing that has been annoying me about the Ninja is the noise that the fan makes. When shooting, you often, or at least I often, want to attach a microphone to either my rig or to the camera. And in that case, the noise that the fan in the Ninja makes gets picked up by the microphone. And before this update, there was no way of controlling the fan behavior. But recently, Atom has released an update for the Ninja 5. This update allows you to control the fan behavior. So I updated my Ninja 5 and ran some tests for you. First, let's update the Ninja and then see what it gives us. Go to the Atomos website, to the support page, or follow the link in the description and download the AtomOS 10.72 file. Unzip the file and put it on your empty SSD that you use for your Ninja. Then insert the drive into the Ninja. Make sure your Ninja has enough power by plugging it in. And then power on the Ninja and the update will start automatically. Now before this update, we add this screen under the power tab in the menu, only showing battery voltage and info about the screen lock. But now with version 10.72, as you can see, if we go to the power tab, it has a cooling section. Here we can change the cooling mode. We can change it to low, medium or auto mode. There are also toggles for turbo cool and dim display. So let's have a look at what these options do. Auto mode is the default cooling mode. The fan behaves like it did before the update, so nothing changes. Medium keeps a balance between lower fan speed and recording time. Low mode is the quietest mode, but might limit the recording time due to overheating. Now the toggles, dim display dims the display when you're recording and undims it when you stop recording. It helps to keep your Ninja cooler and therefore extends the recording time in combination with the low fan speed mode. Turning turbo mode on means that the Ninja will boost the fan to dissipate the heat after you stop recording. So I ran some tests to see if it would overheat. I performed these tests at room temperature at the low fan speed mode with dim display and turbo mode turned on. I recorded in 25 frames per second, 50 frames per second in ProRes LT and in ProRes HQ. There was a time limit though, because I only have 500 gig drives for my Ninja, but I recorded in ProRes LT for well over two hours and in ProRes HQ for an hour and a half, and I couldn't get it to overheat. However, after recording in 50 frames per second, the turbo boost did kick in for about 10 seconds after I stopped recording. I also ran the same tests, but now with dim display off. It still didn't overheat, but it did kick in the turbo boost every time after I stopped recording, also in 25 frames per second. So I'm really happy with this update because it means less noise that gets picked up by the microphone. The dim display during recording is bright enough for me in a studio environment, but I can imagine myself needing the full brightness of the screen when shooting outside in the sunlight. Until now, I've always had it on full brightness. And since the update, I haven't been shooting outside with the dim display on. So I might give you an update on that later. 
Keep in mind that a different ambient temperature or setup may affect the heat buildup in the Ninja and therefore the recording time limit. I'm planning on making a more in-depth video about how I use my G9 with the Atomus Ninja 5 and why I think it's such a good combo. I'll be discussing the settings I use on the G9 and on the Ninja 5 uh, for both video and audio and for example which cables to use. What would you like to know? Please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to cover it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and maybe hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.